Hey guys, still here, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2, where I still have a lot of work to do. Um, for starters, we still have the highway project. The highway project is something I picked up a couple of episodes ago. I put down a highway to go to Kaohsiung, I put down the highway towards Shenyang, and we have this big-ass cloverleaf here next to Chennai. So this is something that I still need to connect to uh, Jeddah and Novosibirsk. First, I have something that I need to fix, and that is Shenyang. As you guys have pointed out, Shenyang has exactly no public transport. Um, there is a train station, but at some point I was, I think, upgrading the trams, and I must have removed all of them instead of upgraded them. So there are no actual trams running around in Shenyang. Uh, which is bad news for Shenyang, but on the other hand it's good news, because they are now going to be getting the newer trams. So that should help them get their ass back in gear, and get their ass back on my trains. Which is rather where I want them to go. And also, hopefully, it'll help Shen Yang grow a little bit more. Because at the moment, that 652 figure, it doesn't seem to really blend in with the 1252 and the 899 and the, uh, what is it, 1142 of Surat. So this is something that should help Shen Yang get back on its feet. And people are already happily waiting for the trams as is. Something else that I want to do, um, add more lines. And not necessarily, or well, not necessarily add more lines, but add more particular tracks. Because what the thing is right now is that these tracks, well, not specifically these, but the ones that the Shinkansen are using, they are slowing everything else, or actually the other way around. The cargo trains are slowing down the uh, Shinkansens. And especially later on, when you get faster Shinkansen, which can go up to 300 kph, and potentially even more, I want to have tracks specifically for the Shinkansen. So tracks that only the Shinkansen will use. That is going to cause quite a bit of a change. Um, it's going to mean that I still need to do quite a bit. Uh, it's going to be a lot of track laying. And since the Shen, oh, sorry, the Shinkansen, currently called Line 1, is currently running from Ankara to Shenyang to Shenai to Surat, I'm going to start with this bit. Alright, let's see. It starts over here. Um, putting it this close to the town is going to be hard. So I guess we'll just have to do it on the other side. See, this is something that's already going to be a problem. The Ankara Goods Supply. It's on the same train, or sorry, on the same track, not necessarily on the same train. And that is going to cause it to go at a slower speed. Um, this thing can do, what, 100? 160? 120. Which means that if the Shinkansen gets stuck behind it, instead of doing its 220, it's going to be doing a maximum of 120. That is expensive. That is not something I want to see. Now, let's have the Shinkansen move out, so that the other train can pass. And the plan over here is to have um, three egress, sorry, four egressing tracks. I'm just going to have one specifically for the cargo lines, and one specifically for the Shinkansen. This is also going to require that the other trains have some other color scheme, to make sure that I can recognize them as such. So anything that is currently not a passenger line, I will set up as a different color. I'm just going to use the first one. Um, I am colorblind, which means that... Uh, well, it means that you get asked constantly, Oh, what is this color? What is that color? Uh, <laughs> that's not the most important bit. The most important bit is that, for me, the contrast between several different colors is tricky to see. So if I were to use, for example, uh, not this line or this color and that color, I would have a hard time seeing it. So the plan is to have everything that's transporting cargo to be one color, and everything that's uh, transporting another thing, like tra like passengers, is going to be uh, yellow probably, or black. Those are just really big contrasts for me, and that's something I can easily spot. And especially since I'm looking for stuff that's going to be on a separate line, that's going to be an important distinction to make. Let's see, what other one? Uh, Surat Fuel. This is another one that's going to have a different color. Uh, Shenyang Kaohsiung is another train. Passenger train, passenger train. That's the fast one. Uh, we have the Grain Line. And we have Surat QZ Food. 
and survive. Yeah, okay. Uh, then, there should really only be one passenger line that's running between here and here. So that should be fairly easy to spot. The only other contender on this track is the train that goes from Shenyang to Kaohsiung in the south and the one that goes from Chennai to Novosibirsk. Those are the only other contenders. So I shouldn't be seeing too many colors over here. Yeah, that's the Shinkansen. Uh, this, I suppose, is... Yeah, that's the Novosibirsk line. All right. So that is clear enough. Uh, over here, we do have a different color. <clears throat> and that was the Kaohsiung line. See, it was some sort of light blue-ish thing, at least that I used for the other one. Right, the cargo line does not interfere here. So this part I don't need to extend, but here we run into trouble. This is where I have the cargo line tied into the other line. And the same thing is happening here. So the first bit is going to be uh, another double line. And then over here, it sort of happens to be okay. And then elsewhere, we run into trouble again. This is going to be a big overhaul. Could be several episodes worth. Now, at the very least, it will make sure that my track laying is going to be further optimized, making sure that I don't have any of the low speed tracks that I initially did have. And that was causing all sorts of issues. Like in the previous episode where I couldn't for the life of me figure out why, or rather why not, a particular train was uh, not using the right amount of speed. Um, I'm very sorry to the people living here, but I am going to put down a high-speed track in their backyard. Alright, uh, we had line one. That's happening to arrive here. Uh, Quezon's going north, Hangzhou's going north. And Shenyang Ankara. Uh, what? Why is there still somebody waiting there? There's no trains on that line. Shenyang Ankara is defunct. Because it's been taken over by line one. So that should clear that one waiting person right out. Alright, now. A couple of tracks. Let's see if I can get those more or less aligned here. See, the weird thing is, if you bring it over here, it goes, yeah, that's fine. If you want to blend it in later, like this, it's going to go, nope, can't do it. I don't get it. Whereas if I do it the other way around, then it accepts it. This game, every now and then, just has a mind of its own. Also, since we're trying to get to a decent speed over here, I might as well try and get a slightly wider bend. Because then I can keep that that train, especially the uh, later Shinkansens, at a speed as high as possible. What sort of speed am I getting up to now? 148, yes. It won't actually get to that particular speed, but it'll definitely be a start. It'll be, uh, well, it'll be a move in the right direction. Let's put it that way. Now, in this case, i got to say, I am happy that I put up, or that I watched the video from the guy who was doing the, uh, the the quadruple tracks. Just to see how he does it, how he actually makes that work. Alright, what terminals are you guys using? Currently nothing, because there's no way to get to the end. Makes, uh, makes sense. We're dropping off the cargo over here. That's the anchor supply line. So that should also be joining in here. Now, that means that in Ankara... Uh, this one's going to go to Quezon City. I want to have... Um, I need to figure out which train goes where. I'm going to draw the lines first, and then I'll figure it out. That might be a slightly easier way of doing it. Uh-oh. Is that a train? Oh, no, it's not a train. It's just... Construction not possible. I'm not trying to construct. I'm trying to deconstruct. There. Also, 
I think that this line is just going to be interfering with the other one that's crossing ar about it. But no, actually it's not, because this whole line is just not required. I set that up as the additional coal line. I am going to leave it in place, because I might need that additional coal supply later on. But for now, I think we'll just, we'll just be able to bypass it. Okay, how are we doing for speed here? 150-ish in that turn, which means that the cargo trains are perfectly fine. The Shinkansen, however, will not quite be able to speed up. Not exactly to its, uh, its massive speed. And now I think I'm going to go with a bit of a bridge. Hopefully one that can sustain trains at 300. So we're going to go up. Let's do this first one and see if it actually will accept it. Yep. I don't need to go very high. Yeah, let's say there. And then we'll just bring it back down. Money is still not really an object. I have 654 million. That should be plenty to make sure that this line is going to be running as efficiently as possible. Uh, train 1, you're on line 1. You are going back. You're going back. Okay. Right. Now we're going back down. It is going to be fairly expensive, but I'll manage. Okay, we need to end up over here in Shenyang. That's the plan. There should also be a tie-in from this cargo station. Because this one also needs to feed into the cargo area of... Well, not Shenyang itself, but the steel mill over there. Alright, that kind of clears up what I need to do. Um, I don't quite like it though. Because here's what I'm looking at. There is one train that's running towards Shenyang, or rather, th sorry, there's two trains running to Shenyang, to the passenger department of Shenyang. That's the line one, which is passing through and going back. And the other one is the one going to Kaohsiung. That one I need to maintain. The thing is, the cargo passenger, or the, the cargo terminals are sort of on the wrong side. That is, uh, that's... Could, well, it could be a bit of a problem. Because I'm thinking that I will have these two tracks for cargo and these two tracks for the Shinkansen. The thing is with that, that it's going to be pretty easy to blend in the steel train that comes in from here. Because I can then tie that into these two tracks. The problem arises when we arrive at Shenyang. Because then I'm going to have the cargo trains arrive here, where they need to be over there. And the Shinkansens are going to be arriving over, well, let's say here, when they need to be over there. So that's a bit of a hiccup. Uh, maybe it's easier to just have the steel line sort of tunnel underneath it and then blend in from the other side. For now, keep going. We are right on track. Sort of. Yeah, we're still going the right way. Now, I can still recycle some of these uh, lines that I still have, some of these tracks. So I don't need to entirely go with everything anew. The problem that I probably will have is that, at least initially, there could still be trains on the other tracks. And I really don't want to have everything be sold off and then respawned again. That seems like a bit of a waste. Okay, those are high-speed tracks, so that works. Uh, which one are you? Yeah. Okay. It, no, it's just, just going to have to happen. It's easier. Same one for this one. Sure enough, it might be carrying 160 passengers, but I just cannot really fix it. Not easily, anyway. Besides, cash is not really a problem, as mentioned. Alright. 
this should be cleared up to about this crossing. And then I can tie it into the other line. To, I think there. What sort of speed can I get up to? 300 steady. Excellent. Okay. And you're going to be starting over there. And tying it into here. Is this connected? Yeah, see? I'm happy I checked that, because it's not always going to be as you think it might be. Now, can I still cross here? No, the intersection won't let me. Uh, sorry. Besides, what are you guys doing here? Didn't I build a highway? No, not to there. Yes, actually to there, but... Oh, no, sorry, it's the other town. I'm mistaken here. Alright, delete, delete, delete. I don't need these blends. These intersections, if you will. No, I don't need a ship. I just need a track. Alright, so that could be the track for the Shinkansen. Then we're going to have the cargo tracks. Which still need to be laid down because I was fighting that intersection. Hold on. Why are you no longer snapping too? I thought we had a good thing going here. Why are you uh, mucking it up here? Yeah, see, that's better. Alright, and this one... Oh, don't do that. Here. Okay. Now, I need to have a couple of these um, split up. These are going to be the cargo lines. These are going to be also cargo lines. There is a crossing over there, so that should work. Let's see, does that mean that the steel train is already fixed? Because it very well might. Oh, sorry. No, of course not. Because I haven't tied that in yet. Alright, the steel train. It is one train. And for the moment, that one train is enough. We're going to dive underneath. One field will be removed. Whose farm is that anyway? Oh, yours. That's your field. Hold up. All right, and now I want to resurface. Yep, blend it in there. Uh, at good speed. And ideally I'd have a sort of double slip over here, but I'm not sure if that's possible because I might lose on a lot of speed over here. So he's going back to 109. 100, 130. That's better. Uh, this... Should be a double slip. Yes. Alright. So now, ideally, the steel train would be back on track. It's going there. It's going there. It's going there. Uh, it's... Yep, there we go. It's bypassing Shenyang. And it's dropping off to Shenyang East. Excellent. Now, I still need to set up the tracks to make sure that they're going to be using the proper side of the tracks. One-way signals. One way here, one way there. Now, it doesn't quite like that. I can respect that because it's probably not got all the crossover points that it needs at this point. Actually, I can also set these things up here. One, two. Uh, sorry, no, that's the wrong side. That is the wrong side. Ye oh! If only the game had a Control-Z feature. Right, signaling. One going that way. And no. One going that way and one going this way. 
one going that way, one going this. Hello? There. There. And there. Alright, so now it is taking the right side. It is going where I want it to go. But it refuses to go back. And that's bad news, because there is another train on that track. If I'm not mistaken. Because over here I'm picking up goods and I'm shipping those to Ankara. So over here it should... Should use the slip to go to the other side, but it's not. Hold on. Good supply. Yeah, that one's not connected yet. That makes sense. So over here, the steel train should dive right into that tunnel uh, and surface over here and go back to picking up more steel. Right. Um, mm -mm -mm. I think I need to set up a cross point here. As fast as we can go. Yes, this is the problem. This is the problem. Uh, this is the cargo pad. The cargo platform. And it needs to go all the way over here. Because this is my cargo track. So this needs to be connected all the way over there. We're going to be cutting across all of those things. Right, do you want to go now? Yeah, now you want to go. Perfect. Alright, the Shinkansen, however, is still going one way. All the way here. And then it might be taking the wrong platform. Right, sorry, the wrong terminal. I want you on the way back to be on terminal 1. And I want you on the way 2 to be using terminal 2. There. Who's a good train? Okay, so that should mean that they are no longer interfering with each other's tracks. Check. All the way to... That's the train. Sorry, the, 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 the steel train. Here we're passing. What I don't quite like, though, is that this cargo train is not doing what I was expecting it to do. This guy. It should, over here, be going this way and then onto that track. But it's not doing it. Uh, one way there, one way here, one way there, one way here. Okay, now it's going the right way. Mostly. But we're still running into a bit of a trouble issue because it's now using only one side of the tracks. Which, in this case, is actually not terrible. But I would really want to see it use the other way, or the, the, the third track over here. Sorry, the fourth track, actually, the outer one, as it's going back to Ankara. Why are you not doing that? Maybe it has to do with the cargo station over here. Let's see. It starts over here. Ankara Goods Supply. It starts at that platform. And it doesn't even try to go to the other side. Yes, that's because this track's not connected. This bit over here. So if I connect this bit to here, at decent speeds... I'll just have it blend along for the moment. There you are. That fixed it. Right. That leaves us with that, that sort of weird track that I'm not actively using. Which for the moment is fine. Because there's currently nothing being shipped to Shenyang Cargo. Okay. So that fixes the first bit of the operation. Um, the second bit is going to be to Shenai. Currently, however... Uh-oh. Shinkansen is doing all sorts of weird stuff again. 
Um, currently. Yeah, we're marrying two lines together here again. That's the one that goes from Shenyang East to Shanghai. Right. Okay, that's going to be the next episode. The next episode is going to be the uh, Shanghai reorganization. Because over here, I will also need to be uh, quadruple tracking it. And then try to fix everything together at decent speed. And I actually am quite enjoying these puzzles. I think they're fun to do, fun to solve. So, join me next episode, and we're going to be continuing this operation and seeing if I can make this thing as efficient uh, and at, at speed as possible. So, over here, for example, I'm looking at a 59 kph crossing. I don't like that. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you soon for the next episode.